Good evening. This is Strange Love, and I'm your host, Cami Chaos. Welcome, babies. Hey, babies. Welcome to Strange Love. I'm your host, Cami Chaos, and we are joined by our super special guest this week, Bubble Winch. Hi, Bubble Winch. Am I allowed to talk yet? <laughs> You're allowed to talk now. Hi. Oh, okay. And now hi. hi. Now How's it going? It's good. Now we're going to say hi to our lovely producer, Mr. Chaos, slash Dr. Normal, slash that guy that's allowed to sleep in my bed. Hello. Good afternoon, Dr. Chaos. Dr. Good evening. <laughs> Dr. Chaos. Thank you for speaking. <laughs> oh, my God. Finally. The app didn't help. Dead air. That wasn't funny. I was going for funny with the dead air thing, and I don't think it... Oh. Yeah, I don't think it was funny. Uh, but Bubba Winch, before we go any yes, further... Yes. What are you drinking? Ooh. That's not what I was going to um, ask, but it's a good question. Sadly, almost nothing. <laughs> Is it almost, almost empty? empty? Okay, show's over. Thanks. Bye. That's uh, it. Yeah. No. No, I got like half a glass. I'm good. I got some rum and ginger ale. She's okay. See? It's fine. Oh, suck it up. up. Some of that leftover Patricia Green you had the other night. Oh, no, no, no. The Bella, the Bella, um... Oh, yeah. The heck was... That stuff was, like, 10,000 times better. It made the, the Patricia Green look very weak. It was kind of sad. Sad wine is no sad good. Wine. Ooh. Northwest Pinot Noir. So, before yeah, we was... go any further, in case someone doesn't know your blog, I want them to be able to find it. Oh, that would be, um... Uh, bubble Winch, bubble winch bu- blogspot dot com. If I could uh, speak clearly and enunciate, bubble winch, <laughs> bubble winch at blog bubble blog. Winch. I'm going to blog my. It's it's, it's a German blog. It's bubble winch. <laughs> it's bubble winch <laughs> dot blogspot <laughs> dot com. Oh God! And I'm what what do you drinking. write about over on bubblewinch.blogspot.com? Um, not a whole hell of a lot lately, but uh, you know, I don't know, just what the hell goes on and yeah, stuff. I I would love to sit there and just bitch about my job all day long, but I'm not allowed to, so I can't. But um, I don't know. I talk about just crap. <laughs> Literally crap. Literally, or figuratively crap. Um. There is a pope that is seriously just about crap that was on my front lawn. So, yes, I guess I do write about crap. I read that one. Crap and toilet happened. paper. And that was about your job? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> We're going to lay that off was about my job. front. My front lawn had crap on it. Nice. <laughs> yeah, we yeah, can all tell great. Mr. Chaos does not read other people's blogs. No, what? that's okay. We had a, we had a plumbing incident. Um, Mr. Chaos. <laughs> it was an issue. I know, you're well aware of how plumbing um, can be an issue. <laughs> it, yes. It would be your worst nightmare, baby. Does it involve the sewer uh, line or the uh, the yes, water line? Yes, it involves the sewer line, line um, rubber gloves up to the elbows, and a big stick. Ooh. Yeah, and the front lawn and toilet paper. Ooh. Yeah, Ooh. and not new, fresh, on the roll toilet paper. No. From the roll to my ass to the sewer line toilet paper. I feel like I was there. I'm so grossed out by it. I'm just like, oh, I, I was just intrigued by. Oh, I was intrigued guys by have the no, phrase. Yeah, how grossed out I was. I was intrigued by the phrase "from my ass down <laughs> through the sewer line." I'm like, this sounds like a plumbing problem I've never heard of before, right? <laughs> it's a plumbing problem you never want to hear of. <laughs> so and that's the that was- nicely. Let's tell a story. Anyway, I'm trying. To so think. that's about my blog. <laughs> it's about crap. Mm-hmm. Crap. Mm-hmm. And cats. Yeah, that going. And where are you? You're cats. out there in the East Coast, you crazy East Coasters. I'm out here on the East Coast. I'm out right outside of Philadelphia, uh, lovely King of Prussia area. If you get more specific. King of Prussia, Bubblewunsch in King of Prussia. Yes. <laughs> the kings of Prussia have gathered together to create the mall. <laughs> so oh, that's yeah. right. You, anyway, you have like the yeah. really fantastic mall that I would never go to because I don't like them. I hate I hate this mall. Like, you have no idea. This is like the worst mall in the universe. But it's like 
It's like like one of the big. It's like one of the biggest malls in the country. It's like the second biggest thing after like Mall of America out in the Midwest or some crap like that. And they're building on. They're putting a Target onto it and all this shit now. And it's like, oh my god, people! The traffic around here is crazy at Christmas. You can't get nowhere, and you're gonna put more crap in here. I I hate to I, I hate I hate to change the subject from change. malls, but do we hear your birdies? You can hear the birdies. Are those your birdies? What are their names? You wanna tell? Holy us crap! You. Yeah, I can. They're hear like the... damn. Here's in the kitchen. I could hear them squeaking. Yeah, they're down there. They're, I hear them. Well, they stop now. They know we're talking about them. Oh, we have to be secret. So let's not talk about the Erd Bays. So recently, you bought a house. Holy crap, yeah, we did buy a house. I keep forgetting. <laughs> yeah? Well, it's very, yeah. very unusual. Well, what, what, what is it like? You know, it's a, it's a really big difference. You, have, you go from having a little apartment, not being able to make any choices having someone to call and complain to when uh, shit shows up on your front yard with toilet paper. How have you, you know, the transition? Uh, let me let me clarify. From the ass to the sewer. <laughs> yes. The way, if, there was a, if there was a problem from your ass to the sewer when you were in an apartment, in theory, your landlord would have to deal with it. Now you're like, you know, That's your own landlord. And so how have you guys liked the transition? It. <laughs> it's called my husband. He's, he's the Mr. Fix-It. He, uh, figures things out. Yay, hubby man. Yes, hubby man. <laughs> that's, that's all I know. He figures them out. <laughs> I, I can't I can't be around him when he's working because he's it gets him all angry and frustrated, but um he does f- figure it out eventually and then he's all happy and it's good. Yeah, you've never seen <laughs> yeah. Mr. Chaos never. when he's trying to figure stuff out, right? <laughs> oh, I've seen him. Yeah. Yeah, very similar, very similar. Yeah, I don't think angry and frustrated even covers it, really. <laughs> I be nice that way. Yeah. But, you know, it gets the job done. Oh, it sure does. Mm. Ah, excuse me. I had to drink. Oh, yeah. But yeah, that just... just I, I really want to paint in the spring here, but that's a little... um. I don't know if it's going to happen financially. You know how that one is. Yeah. It's a matter do. of um, the painting. If we can painting. afford it. Yeah. Well, it's not even the paint. The paint is okay. It's all the stuff that you have to do to get the paint and all the little repairs you have to make to do the paint and, and you know. Yeah. Thank God there's no ass. wallpaper. Oh, so <clears throat> for those of you who don't know, Bubba Winch and I have known each other for about 10 years maybe, sweetie? Oh, what, 10, almost 11 years? Yeah. And uh, shortly after Mr. Chaos and I moved into the house that we currently reside in, Mr. Chaos, wow. Yeah, Just had to do that. He's his own biggest Thank you. fan. Shortly after we moved in, Bubble Winch came out for a little trip, a little visit to Portland. And I, I went on vacation. Yes, yeah, she went on vacation. And she made the grievous error of staying with us, and we put her to work. And uh, Right at- yeah, you hadn't been there very long. No, we had just moved into the house. We had just moved in. And my mom was staying at the time, so she wound up sleeping on a futon in the loft outside of the room that my mom was sleeping in. <laughs> Old square. Uh, and we made her help strip the wallpaper. There were, I think, four layers of wallpaper, and in between each layer of wallpaper was paint. Oh, my God. Yeah, that was crazy. On And the house was 75 years old at the time, so it was dating back all the way. And the first time we found a piece of wallpaper... Uh, the original wallpaper it was this beautiful uh, braided rope yeah. of gold in it we were so excited and we tried to ex- expose as much as we could so we could see it we took photographs of it and it was just the most exciting thing and then by the end of it we were just like oh another fucking piece of wallpaper gotta scrape it off and um, get this crap out of here it was a nightmare it was, it was the, two days scraper? of scraping and then uh, all the other stuff yeah. that went into it but I think we liquored her up. I think we, you know, poured her enormous glasses of wine and 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 then sent her off to sleep. Of course. Yeah. Of course. It that was, was big, big fun. Big fun in the living room. But now the walls in the living room are beautiful. And last time you came to visit, we didn't make you do anything. But the bathroom right now, was, was down. Lots of fun. Oh, was the bathroom still down when you guys were here? Um, yeah, the bathroom was down. You only had the upstairs bathroom last time we were, we were out there. Yep. Yeah, Bubble Winch and Hubby Man came out here for their delayed uh, honeymoon. It's always something. I'm, I'm actually looking at a picture on my screen of the computer of um, uh, God of Rock. Oh, oh that, yeah. Uh, you stayed at you, you I, stayed at, sunset, at hotel. I, I have a picture of sunset that's on my desktop that I keep because it was, it was such a nice 
photo came out. In at Ottercrest, right? Yeah, the in at Ottercrest. I love that place. Right? Thank you. I said Ottercrest. Yeah, that place. No, well, it no, is. That's it's called special. Otter Rock. The view is actually out on Otter Rock. So it's you... amazing. Oh, that's right. That's what that big rock is out there, huh? That's right. That would be the rock. It would the be huge Otter Rock <laughs> at the inn at Otter Crest. The humongous rock. That makes sense. Thanks for telling me. <laughs> I've uh, been wondering that for years. Uh, highly recommended to check out the Inn at Otter Rock. Crest. The Inn at Otter, Otter Crest, Crest mm-hmm. which has a beautiful, every room has a view out to this rock in the um, Pacific Ocean. I have to say, last time we went to the Inn at Otter Crest, we it, was, it was just off season. Tourist season had just ended, and I think we were celebrating our anniversary. Mm-hmm. And we went down to the restaurant. Fantastic food at the restaurant. The Flying Dutchman. The Flying Dutchman, and I love the name. <laughs> So we, we go down to the restaurant, and I order my standard beverage, uh, which, is? which is a dirty, dry Bombay martini. Bombay sapphire? No. Dirty, dry, regular Bombay. 80 proof. Up martini. Oh, let me interject here. The Cami Chaos Strange Love Show is brought to you by Bombay. Bombay. Bombay Gin. Ask for it by name. Bombay. Okay, go ahead. Now, if only Bombay <laughs> would pay me. I love Bombay. I just think Dr. Bombay from, from um, The Witch. Oh, oh, yeah. I love that guy. I just keep thinking Dr. Bombay. <laughs> so, Dr. Bombay. Dr. Bombay. No, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Which one was Paul Lind? Remember Paul Lind? He was one of the guys. Remember the guy from Hollywood Squares? He was like her cousin oh, yeah. or something. Uh, he was he was like the cousin or something. He yeah. wasn't Dr. Bombay. Was he Dr. Bombay? No, I think he was he the was. dorky cousin. The irritating cousin yeah. that was always getting cousin. on every... Yeah. So anyway, I ordered my Sorry. dirty dry Bombay martini and and the okay. waitress went off to make the drink and she came back a few minutes later with horrible news. Not only did she not have the wine that Mr. Chaos had ordered, they were completely out of olives. So anyone who doesn't know what a dirty dry martini is, the dirty oh, part no. is is the olive uh, brine, the, the juice from the green olives that they use in the martinis. And... I was floored. I've never been somewhere where they were completely out of olives. There were no olives anywhere in the restaurant. They didn't have any. They I'm, were out. I'm glad you car- clarified the dirty. So give us the, um, actually, you need to give us the dirty dry martini recipe. I don't know the amounts. Week. I just do it by feel. Well, we can, you know. What was the music we had last week? I'll, I don't I'll, know. I'll find it. I don't know. So anyway. Do but, I- you, you know, you, you just want to make sure people don't think it's like dirty dry martini hey i teabagged the martini before i brought it over you know what i'm saying <laughs> i teabagged it and i shoved a towel in it exactly. dirty and dry baby <laughs> yes. dirty and dry is it my martini yeah no a dirty dry martini a dirty dry bombay martini would be a martini that's made with a very small amount of vermouth um a small amount of the juice from the green olives okay hang on i think i have oh, the music okay i've got to do the voice don't okay I? you're such a so bear dog. with us yeah, I'll- Okay. Dirty Dry Bombay Martini. Bombay Gin. A small amount of vermouth. I like to rinse the glass with it and pour it out. The juice from some olives. Shake over ice. Strain and pour into a lovely martini glass. Enjoy. So apparently we're doing a cocktail every week. That's the dirty dry martini. So they didn't have any olives, so I couldn't have a dirty martini. Um, and I was kind of, I was like, well, you know, okay, just bring me a, a dry martini. I'll be fine. They brought without out. Without the tea bag. Without the tea bag. Just with the towel. So they brought out my martini. And boy. I was very hesitant. Oh, boy. Uh, and I drank it. And it. it was one of the best martinis I've ever had, even without the dirty I couldn't believe it. So I would wholly recommend both the bar and the restaurant at the Flying Dutchman. It was it was in the off the incredible off season. It was like fall. The pool like was pretty fall. awesome too, if I must say. What's that? The pool was pretty awesome when we were there. Oh, we were, it, it was, was it was up. October. It was almost November yeah. when we were there, so it was too cold for the pool. Yeah, for, you were there for the anniversary. Pool. We were there in what May? Yeah, May. Yeah, late May, almost June. Yeah, you were in the season. So yeah, it was you were in the season. We walked I'm past the pool a few times, and they have that great, um, what? Do, it's not an elevator, what do they call that thing, the, the little... Uh, it's a gondola. Kind of, yeah, kind of a tram. Kind the of gondola thing. tram. I love that thing, because you can see yeah. the whole ocean. It was out of 
sure when we were there. Oh my god, you guys had to walk a lot of steps then. <laughs> yes. Actually, we would walk all the way around on the path and take our time. So we just because we liked it there so much. So we should. So so this uh, the this place this resort the Inn at is, is the Inn at Autocrest is built on the side of a, a of a cliff. So the units there's kind of like a little like they're kind uh, of stacked tram kind of yeah. thing that goes up and down the units and the and the uh, I want to say that this this place is outside of Newport, Oregon. So if mm. you're looking for what town this is this is like right outside of newport oregon yeah Autocast. and i think it's just it called does have a website too yeah yeah i don't know that though which newport <laughs> oregon one of the chaos family's favorite places to go it is uh mr chaos and i went to a little town right outside of newport for our honeymoon waldport it, waldport exactly yes. right outside we spent most of the week in newport or you know yeah well, at, at the house, I was going to say we spent our an- we spent our anniversary at Walport yes. in the fall. I had, Halloween. I had to yeah. get married down in Walport down there, and uh, the reception was on the beach. Beach. Mm-hmm. You did. You were married yeah, it's down a nice there. Town. No, she went. No, 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 no. She no, went oh. to a no, wedding. No, 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 oh. oh, I went to a wedding down there. Yeah. Not her getting married. Someone else got married there. The last last time we were down there, we went to a wedding in Arch Cape. No, uh, Manzanita. 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 Well, that's right around March. Yeah, I was excited. I was really happy to see my friend get married, and she was marrying a really great guy. On the beach. On the beach. It was beautiful. And then after the reception was over, we went to Moe's, and I was happy because there's no mm. beach trip that's complete uh. for me without going to Moe's and getting some clam chowder and a nice salad, a little shrimp on top. Man, I am so seafood oriented right now. I just want some shrimp. I know there's some shrimp waiting upstairs for me, and I. Oh, eat it up. So, so is there some good coast action out there on the east coast? Where do you guys go? For, for coast action, we go to the shore. Yeah, it's not the coast, <laughs> Mr. Chaos. No, no say it it's like a real shore. Fellow, It's the shore, right? We go to the right? shore. <laughs> the shore. The shore. We go to the shore. Um, we actually, my mom actually, my mom and my stepdad, Charlie, have a... a house down by Long Beach Island, right on the bay there. So we, we actually have a place to go stay whenever we want, and we do. And, uh, you know, the Jersey Shore, that's the way it is. Yeah, I have to it's point, not at all. Yeah, I, have to, I have to point something out that's really, out. really different. Uh, when you lived in Portland, you had quite an accent, uh, a, a Philly accent. It was really pronounced. And now that you've moved back to Philly, I think that it's gone. I mean, when you first got back there, you started, the accent was really brought out anytime I talked to you. But now all of a sudden, you just sound like a normal person again for the most part. Maybe maybe you're just used to it because I think I still have it. Like, I don't, Mr. Cass, what do you think? Do you think it's very pronounced? Oh, mom! <laughs> she she kind of has it. But, uh, you know, like everything, like when we do these podcasts with people from the UK and stuff, I'm always expecting more. <laughs> so I'm really expecting more for Bubba I'm, Lynch, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. on the same continent here, Chaos. I don't care, man. <laughs> I don't I want. I want. I want, I, I want the different voice. I want the different voice. Yo, yo, what the if, you know. if you just wait till next week, just wait till next week. Then you can have a real accent. Then you can have a real. Accent. Oh, yeah, Martin will a be pronounced when Martin will be here, and he'll talk all you know British and stuff for you. And you know Martin. Yes, I do. Everyone knows yes. Martin. And he probably Mark, won't. He probably won't even do it ear. for our benefit. No, I need to. I don't. I think he gets. Well, here we'll on spank Monday. him he's until he speak, does. He's going to speak with a New York accent just for you guys. You know what? Exactly. It's his birthday. We can spank him as many times oh. as it is. Isn't that the tradition? You spank people however many years old they are. Do I want to spank him? You go. I'll yeah. Spank him. No, no, no. yeah I, I'll spank him for you. Yeah, spank him for me too. I <laughs> oh, ah, <laughs> uh, yes. See, one of these yeah, days. Everyone will be together in the same geographical location, and we'll have like a massive podcast now with like you know. No, what we'll do is we'll do like it'll be like speed dating with the Strange Love podcast. We'll have one person come in for like five or ten minutes into the studio. I love that, and then we'll send them out, and then we'll have the next person come in, and we'll do like an hour long (laughs) episode with you know a bunch of different bloggers coming in and going out of the room. Okay, thanks. Bye. Okay, get out. Yeah. Snail, snail, snail. Next person. Oh, move. You know it's really funny. Mr. Chaos never says Schnell, so when he says it, it's really funny. I say it all the time, but I don't speak German, so. So she married I, into a, a German family, and our neighbors are Swiss. 
Swiss. Very Swiss. From Switzerland. Well, Swiss German. And all of a sudden, Cami German. Chaos, Cami no, one Chaos of them takes to the Schnell Schnell and the kindergarten and the Schnell Schnell and is like Schnell Schnelling everybody in the whole damn neighborhood. She's, I also count. She's the Schnell Master of the Universe. Yeah, I count at K in German as well to get her, you know, the one, two, three. Okay, you're out. No, I count at her. I, eins, zwei, drei. Go to your room. <laughs> I've seen you do that too. <laughs> it's, yeah, apparently she doesn't apparently like it. She doesn't like it at all. Oh and no! The oh, I watched children, her make that. Face the, the, all, make that even the other children it? that don't speak German in the neighborhood, they uh, they know what it means when I start. Schnell, German, schnell. Look, German is for training dogs and children. It's for training dogs and, and children. Operas, right? <laughs> Look, if I can get the kids to do what I ask them to do, if I yell at them in German instead of in English, then you can bet your bippy I'm going to yell at them in German. You can get a dog to do what you want to do in German, so, you know. I can't get a dog. Did he just say you could get a dog? Oh, no. Do your oh my God! Final? He said I could get a dog. <laughs> We're getting a dog! Yeah! Thanks, finally! I saw a dog today. Um, We were on our way home from picking Kay up at school, and we saw this dog, and it was the most beautiful dog. Beautiful. I have ever seen. It looked like an Irish setter, only instead of uh, that beautiful mahogany red color, it was black. I wonder if it was one of them labber schnoodle thingies. No, no, no. We talked. It was no. They're they're large dogs, um, and so we talked to the owner for a few minutes, and he was a flat coated retriever. Mm-hmm. Um, but is- he he looked just like a a, a Irish setter absolutely beautiful sweetest disposition and it was really sad because we've decided not to get a dog the chaos family has two cats meow, meow. um we have four cats do you want a couple no thank you no <laughs> have you met our cats they're the most idiosyncratic animals on the planet you don't want a 27 pound cat pound cat that's going to stand on your chest and dig his little paws into your what the hell kind of cat <laughs> gets 27 pounds is that momo crazy what are you it's feeding it? Philly one. cheesecakes is over Momo there? Is Momo the or fat something? one? No, Momo's the the little tiny one. Oh, okay. Boo Boo's the fat. Boo Boo's the fat. I knew it was one of those repeating names. It's like he eats a Philly cheesesteak every day. What? What? That, that, put him on the Probably science. Put him, put him on the science diet. Yeah. Uh, slim down nutri grain. He's, not, he's not fat. He's big bones. <laughs> Twenty-seven pounds? Are you kidding? Yeah, I, I think he's gained a few. This cat, like, you'll be sitting there and all of a sudden his lips are moving and you're like, what is he eating? And you, and you realize that he's eating, like, this fuzzball that he found in the I, corner. It's uh, like, I think corner. he weighs more than both of our cats combined. Like, what do you get? You guys go out and get a pizza and you get one for the cat, right? <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, yeah, I got a, oh, yeah, and one for the cat. He, I remember at one point he weighed more than your daughter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> first, no, I remember that. <laughs> God, he weighed more than your daughter. I will never forget that. To this day, I'm like, he weighs bigger than a four-year-old. You know what? He's What's still... that bad boy on a treadmill? So wait, how, right? how much do you think he weighs? She said 27 oh, pounds. 27 pounds? He still he might be less than 10 30. pounds. Kay, Kay weighs less 30? than 10 pounds more. Yeah, so if he's 30 pounds, Kay's 35. Just to put that into yeah, perspective. We have a 35-pound child, and you have a 30-pound cat. How does it? That's huge. Yeah. Cats don't weigh that much. Oh, this cat is huge. Like, you gotta go to you gotta go to Weight Watch the, the Weight Watchers, weight watchers uh, for kitties. frozen Kitty dinners or something for that cat. <laughs> See, Scott, that cat. Scott used to feed him combos. He like combos? pizza combos. combos? Com- you know, oh, little, little, little oh God! Hubby oh. man, hubby man, hubby man. Hubby man. Hubby man. See, I told so, you. so the cat was like raised on combos, and I guess I think I didn't do that. That's not healthy. Oh, That's not healthy. I'm going to tell a cute story I'm gonna about tell my cute. kitty now. What's a cat do? Like drink a six pack of beer? Like on the weekends? You know, it's like. Yeah. I'm going to tell. This is like Garfield no. after he went to Hollywood. Oh, not Garfield. Know? Not Garfield. We had to talk about Garfield last week. We did? Yeah, we did. I know you, you talked about the Garfield Chia pet. I uh-huh. remember that. <laughs> yeah, that was back when the only person who read and commented on my blog was Bubble Winch. No, we talked about the I Garfields. When you were talking about when you found the one at his house, you guys did plant that. No, we didn't. Up at the house. No, we didn't. I would swear to God you did. And you had it out back because it was nasty. I think and she's never, right. And remember, remember freaking, yeah. it was before Jeff broke yeah. the chair. Yeah. Oh, that was when I was yeah. drinking too much tequila. See, she remembers. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah, that was when I was going through my I can I drink more than Jeff phase. 
Yeah, that was when we would drink him under the table. Yeah, which was impressive because he's a big guy. Like, Everybody loves Jeffy. We heart Jeffy. We pink puffy heart Jeffy. I wonder if he listens to the show. We pink puffy I don't heart know. you, Jeffy. I think he's got you some technology Jeffy. issues, but he does have some. Techie, he but he's on Twitter. Those, Maybe we'll Twitter him that we talked about him on That's the show. Right. We'll That's right. We'll Twitter it. An so, eight 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 coming up. What is? Oh, it is. I know. He's so excited. Eight, eight, eight. I know. Oh, should be. Eight, 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 eight. Eight. I didn't think about that. His birthday is oh, wait, the eighth wait. month and I'm the sorry. eighth day. I'm sorry. I'm still reeling from the Bush administration in the 666, right? So, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm still getting over that hangover. <laughs> yes, that was lovely. I was going to tell Guess you. Guess who was here today? Who? Yeah, do you know who I, was in I, town? I, I read all your Twitters, jackets and all. Oh, well, they have great today. jackets. Awesome was, jackets. They look beautiful. Barack Obama and Bill Richardson were in Portland, in case anyone's not sure what we're talking about. And they have the most <laughs> amazing suit jackets on. They, they got had, the money I sent them. Yes. I wish okay. I had had pictures. Mr. Chaos <laughs> sent some money, and obviously they've used it to buy spiffy new suits, because those suits were rocking. I want a well-dressed president. I, I would like a well-dressed president, and I'd like a well-dressed vice president, too. Exactly. Except he wears white pants, though. Richardson wears kind of, he he wears like the suit jacket and everything. And I've noticed this. And sure enough, when they panned out, uh, because we were there at 4.30 in the morning. Yeah, we were there at 4.30 in the morning. We took the bed with us. Yeah. No, we were there. We uh-huh. had tickets. We, we put the actually, bed on casters. We actually did have and tickets. We, yeah, we had tickets. Because um, I jumped on that. <clears throat> I decided my bed was better than, than the Coliseum. And uh, so, yeah, we wanted to go, but uh, we're, I, yeah. okay. We didn't want to wake up. But he's got my money. So anyway. Yeah, so. we supported them. We gave them money. Yeah. So anyway, Bill Richardson and the white pants, I think yeah, I have a reason. Yeah, he wore white pants. No, listen, that. think about it. He always wears the white pants. Southern California. Uh, Arizona, Arizona yeah. New Mexico. No, New Mexico. He's from no, no, New no. I'm making a point. In Southern California, yeah, you, you see know? guys. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is he from? He's from New New Mexico. Yeah, he's he's from New Mexico. Yeah. I don't know if he originated in he's New Mexico. Governor of New Mexico. But that's where he is serving. Governor of New Mexico. Correct. Yes. So anyway, in Southern California, people wear Good white guy. pants. In Arizona, people wear white pants. And I'm guessing in New Mexico, they wear white pants. It's really warm outside. Barack was not wearing white pants. That's a good thing. No. Mr. But that's okay. Oh my God, Mr. But Richardson looked good, and he had a beard. You know what I want? I actually like Bill Richardson. I've I, always I, liked Bill I Richardson. I really, you know, um, Daddy Chaos wanted I, to be able to vote for Richardson. Yeah, and I knew he was going to drop out of the campaign because he didn't have the Correct. credit. You know, but but I always liked him, and he always played a clean game. And you know, he's a friend of the Clintons, which is the interesting <laughs> thing. And now he supports Barack Obama. I thought it was great. You know, I, I'll be honest. I was watching the speech, and I was really touched by some of the things that Richardson said. I thought it was a, a, I thought it was a great speech. You didn't get a chance to see it, did you? No, I haven't seen any of it. It's on the net. I, you can I, go I, grab it. I removed myself from it. political th- issues as uh, on a uh, public level, yeah. put it nicely. Yeah. Okay. Mainly because I live in a, in a very, very uh, red family. Oh, that's <laughs> right. I always that's forget right. about the uh, redness. Your dad, too? Um, actually, believe it or not, my father is a registered Democrat. And when he no, I actually that. really I believe, believe that. that your father's a registered totally Democrat. I'd have a hard time believing that your father was a Republican. Yeah, my dad, my dad was always has always been a Democrat. But your brother I isn't. I have met the Bubble Winch's dad. I, That's why. I have. Yeah, we've met Bubble Winch. What do we call a Bubble Winch's dad? What do we call your dad? Papa John, I guess. Oh, we get to use his real first name. We've met a Papa wine John. Aficionado. We love Papa John. Who likes the He's, Northwest wines? He he talked about moving out there last time he was up here. He's wow. so much kind of fun. Wow. We really liked your dad. We really liked your dad. My dad always asked me how you guys are doing, and he's always, always asking about Mike. He loved Mike. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh God, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. no, Chaos, Dr. Okay. Chaos. That's I forgot okay. about What? <laughs> what? Mike? Oh, everyone knows Mike's name is Mike. Yeah. I yeah. forget names sometimes. Well, I don't, I, you know, I don't want to say the wrong name. No, 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 okay. no, no, no. It's okay. <laughs> Mike is Mike is fine. Mike, Dr. Normal, Mr. Slappy, Megatron's owner. <laughs> Mr. Slappy, Megatron. <laughs> well, yeah, that goes on Slappy, every day. Slappy. You can pretty much call Mike anything you want to. It doesn't matter, it, you know. But, um, yeah. yeah. Get your dad to call me Megatron. <laughs> um, oh, my God. I don't even. <laughs> Mr. Chaos really, really liked your dad as well. Everyone in the Chaos household really liked your and dad. And I attempted to make him salmon. Yes. Your dad ate the salmon. My dad, my dad's always, uh, he's going, that friend of yours, that friend of yours at that shop, 
I can never get him to send my damn line. <laughs> oh. Well, we sent no, it. No, he got it, though, right? Oh, he got that case, yeah. But he's trying to get him to send more. Oh, oh Bruce. Oh, the wine shop. Yeah. Bruce. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's been trying to get him to send more, and he's Bruce? always yelling at me about yeah, it. I'm like, yeah, hey, yeah. oh, I need to get the name of that wine shop that's yeah. up on Broadway. The other oh, wine bro- shop, because he oh, wants to okay. try them, because they had a different wine oh, okay. that we Bruce. really liked, and Bruce. that we couldn't find. But What's Bruce, if for some reason, Bruce, you ever listen to this show, send the man some wine. Oh, I think Bruce will send the wine. Yeah, Bruce needs he, to send he wine. He does it eventually. Well, you know, he's an Oregonian. And Bruce's at heart. blog is. Uh, Bruce's blog Eat, drink, is. Think. Eat, drink, think. It's called Eat, Drink, Think. I don't know what the web address is. We're actually going to do a podcast with him. I will force Are him. Are we? Yeah, I'll pay him down. Think he I'll knows jump that. him. I'll lock the door at his wine shop. It's like we're just doing a podcast I don't, now. I don't think. He'll call the cops. I don't think fun. Bruce knows that he's doing it. I think before you announce that someone's doing a podcast, unless you plan to like have them stay at your house and then you can force them to do I've it. I've talked to him about it for a year, actually. You talk to him about <laughs> doing a podcast? After walking out of the wine shop drinking wine all night. You know, I mean, come on. Oh, like before I had a podcast? <laughs> uh, you got to do a podcast sometime, buddy. I'll catch you later. Did you, you know? hear him? Bruce did a radio show one time. He was yeah, really he's awesome. very good. Very I enjoyed good. the radio. He, he had some language issues. Uh, and that would not be a problem no, on a podcast, He had some potty it? mouth issues on the radio. I listened, and he was really good. But he was like, oh, the, you know, language but no, we, you can say bad words. Say some bad words, Bubble Winch. Shit, piss, motherfucker, ass. <laughs> Thank Shit, you, George piss, Carlin. motherfucker, ass. I love George Shit, Carlin. Shit, piss, motherfucker. Did you, did you listen like, to that's this? That's my lawn. What am I thinking? <laughs> <laughs> that's disgusting. Did you hear Sybil? <laughs> did you hear Sybil's pod cla- pod class? Oh, podcast I last week, podcast. Where, we, where she did the well the f word that is like honey it's a podcast he, you can say <laughs> i no had FCC to make it say here. it say the bad yeah, word funny about that. i was laughing when i heard that from sybil i was like but it, it's so, so like, was like i was saying like the voices the voices nobody matches the voices like that like that was not sybil's voice in my head so now my head's all fucked up what did you think she was gonna sound like my, I'm like she was gonna sound like that like she does, I don't know. Just I don't know. Different. I don't, I don't know. know, sweetie. Your voice <laughs> doesn't sound like what I, I expect. I totally expected Holly to have an accent. Was floored, oh, you know what, Mister Chaos? You didn't know that she was an expat, Mister Chaos. Even though he knew that she grew I up in the it. states, I was still it. expected her to have no, an accent. No, 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 no. That's not true. You should have seen the look on his face. He says it's not joking. true. You should have seen the look on his face when he heard her talk. He was it's like, not "True, I was oh, it is. totally it, joking." It, so sad. So sad. Poor, confused little Mister Chaos. Oh no, no, no. I was joking. I was. <laughs> I, I know. knew she was an expat. But Bubble Winch, you did not know well, that Holly was an expat. Exactly. She sounded exactly the way I thought she would without the accent. Yeah. Yeah. See? And actually, she had tinges of it, by the way. I know. She, you know what's like really funny? Box. You know she's not. When you hear her kids speak on the video, it's so funny because Holly so doesn't have an accent, but her kids have this tiny, cute little accent. You can kind of tell that they're being raised by an American, but but all the other influences around them sound different because they have this uh i i'm struggling i can't remember the fake and name they all have oh to queen learn. of hearts yeah queen, queen of hearts. hearts has the cutest little accent yeah. in her videos and i just want to i just want to oh, you're so cute and they all I, have I to sadly learn well sad. i haven't even seen those videos yet because i don't see i can't see that stuff at work and i come home and forget what I didn't see mm-hmm. and never go see it again. Mm-hmm. And then something like this because I'm like, crap, I never went back and looked at that. You know, I'm like that with you my know? reading and commenting these days because I wake up in the morning and I take my iPhone and I start to read the blogs. And I always think, oh, I'll go back and comment later. I'll go back and comment later because in the morning it's kind of difficult to type on the um, on the iPhone. And then I forget and I never go back and comment. And so I think it's been at least two months that I've barely been leaving comments on people's blogs. I feel like no, a butthead. I, I, I kind of try to go catch up and do what I can, but sometimes if, I, if I'm if i really backed up, I'll go leave, like, one comment and say, hey, re- I'm really sorry I just caught up, but I'll make a few comments in one comment yeah. closer to the you know, current posting, which just makes more sense to me. Yeah. So, yeah. You know, there are some people that do it that way. Uh, uh, Joe does that. Joe will sometimes skip around, and then she'll leave comments for, like, almost an entire week worth Joe of Joe better have an accent, man. Joe better have... Joe, we'll I think, is going to do our up. show. You of read Joe. Going is she going That'd be cool if Joe did the show. Yes, Joe has an accent, and she's promised that she'll use it. 
Get that on. Mm-hmm. Is she getting a screwdriver too? What? What? I don't know if Joe, Joe's going to get to meet Holly. I'm really jealous. Just, don't, is she, she's, in, she's in London too, right? Well, no, no, no. I don't know if she's in. Holly is in Wales. Wales. Wales, that's what I was, I was all confused. And, and just out, actually she's in Cardiff because she went to the Doctor Who Museum in Cardiff to get that sonic screwdriver for me. I heard, I was very jealous. I think Joe is four hours away from Holly. Okay, so she's in a different area. Yes. It's not like it's a small country, huh? No, she's it's going to. It's a freaking little island. She's it's like going Hawaii. to. Uh, what the hell? It doesn't take four hours to drive anywhere in Hawaii. like Ireland? What'd you say? It's like a, no, it's an, it's an island. It's an island. Oh, I thought you said it's like Ireland. So <laughs> it's like, what? It's a freaking <laughs> continent. That's a freaking island, like Hawaii. Like oh, Hawaii. there go all the UK readers. Man, why do you have to keep banging on my UK readers? I love my readers in the UK. I did not bang on any UK readers. Let me make that clear. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Sure. Actually, they're not readers. It's the listeners. <laughs> I like the erection. Sure. It's the listeners that we're that we're worried about, though, because I don't. We have listeners. We have. Like I don't think you know what I've of... noticed. I don't know how many of you actually listen to the podcast. My theory is that the person who's Two. on the podcast listens to the podcast, and then Miss um, Burroughs listens to the podcast because we keep mentioning her, mm-hmm. and every time we mention her, vagina, she... vagina. I've got to get over to Miss Burroughs and, and find out what the secret to the vagina is over there. You don't read Miss Burroughs. You don't read Miss Burroughs. Not, I, I'm, I'm very Me sad too. to admit that. You need to read Miss Burroughs. We actually met her. I saw the picture. Two nights ago. On Wednesday, yeah, we met her on yeah. Wednesday. We had a lovely conversation. I, saw- I refer to oh, her as charming. Mm-hmm. We were talking to her about the show and about people Skyping in and about, you know, just stuff. And she's like, well, I hate to be forward, but if I do this show, do I have to call in? Couldn't I go to your up. house? No, she has yeah, to call Yeah, come up. You're on the couch. No, sure I've, just, that no I, I've decided as a compromise what we'll do is I'll come down to the studio and record and she can sit upstairs in the dining room with the computer and Skype in from the dining room so that I don't actually have to have contact with anyone. Oh my God, you're kidding me. I'm so <laughs> kidding you. This... Sorry, 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 Miss Burroughs. So earlier I was going to tell you a really funny story about one of my cats. We were talking about uh, oh, that's right. yeah, yeah. Bobo, Boo Boo, wait, what's the fat cat's name? Boo boo, boo as his name is Boo as. We were talking about Boo boo, and I was going to tell you a really funny story. Um, Bubble Winch knows my kitty cats, but most of you don't. I have two kitties. I have a um, really fuzzy champagne colored cat who's the larger of the two, but not by much. And his name is Ripper, and he's kind of a daddy's boy. And then I have um, another cat who's a year younger who's all black even his whiskers are black the only thing that's not are his eyes he has bright green eyes and he's a mama's boy he is my cat uh for the first Uh year we had him he wouldn't even let mr chaos touch him both of our cats are really (laughs) they're really um particular and crazy but uh spike especially so and right now the house is kind of not uh, normal my mom is visiting and uh, Mr. Chaos has been home several days this week, and we've been getting ready for Kay's birthday party. And so Spike has become really stressed out, and it's gotten to the point that if anyone touches him, if Kay touches him, he licks whatever she touched. If my mom touches him, <laughs> he licks whatever she touched. If Mr. Chaos touches him, he licks whatever he touched. Immediately, the second their hand is removed, he starts to lick whatever they petted, except for me. He will not lick himself if I've touched him. He will just sniff himself and then, like, purr. Oh, Jesus. Mr. Chaos thinks that he doesn't want anyone else's scent on him. Nope, it's true. And so if he, if uh, someone else touches him, he cleans himself so that he won't smell like them, so he'll just smell like me. I had a cat that did that. It's crazy, isn't it? It's very weird. I mean... I, and the cat would do that if anyone touched it but me. It's like it's like stalker life dedication. Yes, it is. Mm-hmm. Very much so. <laughs> I think I should be flattered. I am. I'm a little flattered. I'm a little flattered that my cat loves me that <laughs> that crazy, crazy much that he's willing to go to those like extremes to be a psychopath. Yeah, he's definitely all over that one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. About the other one, he's just as crazy and psycho about Mr. Chaos. So. 
But he sheds, so I don't like him as much. But maybe that's why. Maybe that's why he likes Mr. Chaos. I don't like him because he sheds constantly, and a lot of the stuff in our house, including ninety percent of my wardrobe, is black. And so when the fluffy oh. champagne-colored cat sheds on me, I get covered in you know cream-colored hair. And then I have to get the lint roller, and I freak out about it. And so I'll, I will spend a good ten minutes using the lint roller on myself. Oh my gosh, yeah, we keep one in the car specifically for that reason. Oh, because otherwise, every time you leave the house, you would look like a cat. Well, we do, and then we get in the car, and we got to roll off. Because, you know, we've got three, like, white and bre- like white and orange cats, mm-hmm. and one that's black and white, so it's like, it's all freaking white hair everywhere. So, here's, Doesn't matter so here's another one that I think you relate to. We have um, a large velvet, our comforter is velvet, it's a big red velvet. Um, comforter and mm. the, the shuddy cat will get huge spots of fur all over it and so I will spend every single day a good portion you know five minutes maybe lint rolling the bedspread to get the cat hair off of it because I'm that dedicated to having a red velvet bedspread and I'm that dedicated to keeping my cat um, and you're more dedicated yeah. than I am yeah I can't have the fur on my bed it makes me freak out oh, oh God. I can't even tell you the bad fur story I got going on over here well you the cats sleep on your head so but yeah, my cats sleep on my head. There's cousin Mai, and she won't even let the cats in her bedroom. Oh, that's right. She's she's got like like cat free zones. I don't even know what the hell those things are. Yeah, she has. That's when they're cats. that's when they're outside, and I'm free of them. I think she has three cats. Am I right? Am I wrong? And she's she got two three. or three. Jack, Audrey, and um, there's another one. There's three of them, all right. She doesn't they're let them terrible. in her room. She'll let them anywhere else in the house that they want to go, but when it comes to her bedroom, she has the door closed, and it is strictly off limits. And when she first started dating M.M., um, they got really jealous that he was allowed in the bedroom, and they weren't. They weren't, yeah. At that's least funny. that's the story as I remember it. Again, I that's could be sad. making things up. I like to talk out my ass. I'm not sure that was, that was the same story that I heard, too. Okay, good. Then Lawn I'm not darts crazy. are illegal <laughs> in the United States. Lawn darts are illegal to manufacture in the United States of America. <laughs> hey, I wanted some lawn darts now that I have a lawn. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That could be true. It could be false. I don't know. I just made it up because I know I, that... I do, I do recall hearing at one point, though, they stopped making the lawn darts... With those points. Because, because kid, they, no, they stopped making them at all, I thought. Because kids were getting their feet they, impaled. And drunk people were getting their feet impaled. Probably more drunk people than kids. Drunk people were impaling each other is the problem. Yeah, probably. <laughs> those drunk people, see, they I'm, spoil all I'm the fun. I'm going to get on com and see if I can find lawn dots. Lawn dots. I keep saying dots. <laughs> dots. Lawn, lawn dots. Lawn dots. I don't know. Lawn, I wonder how you say lawn darts with a southern accent. I'm going to try lawn darts. I was playing out in the yard and I got some lawn darts. Can I buy some security? <laughs> and and I uh, tossed it up in the air and it went right through my brother's foot. There's the blood is everywhere. It's disgusting. That didn't really happen to my brother. I don't, you know, I think I'd remember that. Drunk or no, I think I would totally remember if I'd put a lawn dart through my brother's foot. I don't think we ever had lawn darts. He's going to be a guest on this show. He is. He's going to be a guest on the show for his birthday. He has asked. Oh, that's... Oh. Yeah, he's one of the first... I think he's the first person who's said, may I please be a guest on the show. He didn't say, may I please. He, he said, is the first person. Let's be honest. He right? said... See, when, Barack Obama's calling. He's like... Sorry, um, sorry, Mr. Obama. You can be on the show later after my brother. Yeah, that's not what People I said. People are calling <laughs> all the time. Darts on Amazon. They have lawn darts? 15 bucks, man. It Only doesn't one say, left in stock. Orders. It does... Well, it's because it's the one set of lawn darts that they made before they um, made the manufacturing of lawn darts illegal. It doesn't have the metal tip. Like when I was growing no. up, man, they had the yeah, metal tip. Like and Nerf everything. darts. No, yeah. No, so, so Bubba Winch, my brother's oh, going to be Oh, and they have sh- jarts. They have what? Jarts with a J as in Jason. <laughs> what's, what's a jart? What, what? That sounds like a shark. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering that a same shark? thing. I can buy <laughs> shark. Jart, I can buy a jart, jart just means it was juicy. <laughs> <laughs> so we have sharts and jarts. That's awesome. Sharts. Um, a jart no, seriously. Just a little juicier. What's a jart? I don't know. It looks like some kind of plastic. It's probably nerf thing. crap or something. Oh, I have to tell. I have to tell something very quickly. So, in case everyone hasn't heard, ad nauseum, Kay's birthday was uh, yesterday. 
Yes. When this was recorded. Kay's birthday was Thursday. And for her birthday, the Bubble Wench and Hubby Man sent Kay a uh, airbrush tattoo kit. And I want to be clear on the fact that I received a phone call from Bubble Wench when she was purchasing it, which went something like this. Hey, Cammy. Yeah? Uh, I'm at the store, so I just need to know, can I buy Kay a tattoo airbrush? Can I buy it for her? Can she have that? Is it okay? Yeah, sure, that's fine. <laughs> okay. Um, it, it's okay? Yeah, it's fine. So that's kind of, that was really, I thought that would be more entertaining in the retelling, and it wasn't because I couldn't do the accent. Yeah, but what did I do when I saw it? Oh, great. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, it was like, what is this? What is this crap? All this toy oh, crap. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. He was upset until I told You're him what it was. You're not telling the truth. And they were like, well, this is like a, it's like the bat, and it's like a spray thing, and I'm like, yeah. oh. I told him I could spray on a, a superhero mask for Ooh. him. No, I thought it was cool. Go. I yeah. would play with it. But I'm, I want. I'm gonna I thought it was go a nuts. pretty cool kid. It is, it is really I cool. But totally you know, the cool. even cooler, the even cooler part is this: my mom, upon seeing it crap. and upon realizing what it was, said, "I need a tattoo before I go home." <gasps> oh, yeah. mom, go for it. We're tattooing Woo! Nana Kay. Yes, we're gonna give her a dragonfly. Nope. I'm pretty sure we were all over it. Both yeah. your Papa mom Kay's all waiting for her to get home. <laughs> you know, I want to do. Bounce, like the uh, the bounce, hand bounce, tattoos, bounce, I want to get. Bounce, bounce, I'm gonna bounce. I'm gonna like try. Henna? Uh-huh, I'm tattoos? gonna like the the henna, but with the airbrush all up and down my arms. I think it's gonna look awesome. I'm gonna <laughs> use up all of Kay's airbrush ink. Mr. Chaos is not thrilled. He's making. At least let her get me. one of it. I think that he thinks I have an. Oh, she'll get plenty of tattoos. Don't worry. I think he thinks I have enough tattoos without airbrushing myself. I'm gonna test drive oh, yeah. that tattoo I want to get. That one You're on not, Megatron. Oh God. Oh my God. <laughs> We're not talking about Megatron tattoos until Megatron at least gets a little snip snip. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Megatron's Uh-oh. buddy's got to go. <laughs> Megatron's going to have to be uh, inactive for a few days. Did we have this discussion with Miss Burroughs the other night? It all comes back to Miss Burroughs. Miss Burroughs is like the secret, the secret constant guest on the show. I know, I know. She's a mystery. Yes, she I... She is a mystery. We discussed yep. with Miss Burroughs that Mr. Chaos would have to get a little snip snip done. Uh, but we're all we'll done edit with that this now. out. <laughs> yeah, you always say, I always say that and you always ignore me. So anyway, lawn but I'm darts the editor. Lawn darts are illegal to manufacture in the United States of America. Yes. So no, what does according The United Kingdom has a boomerang avoidance Art. society. So I want to know what insane. what actually is the jart? Did we did we ever figure out what a jart was on Amazon? It's like a plastic plug looking thing. What? What? It looks like a big giant plastic butt plug. <laughs> but what's it for? What's it for? It's like a lawn dart, but it's called a jart. I, I mean, don't know. It's really weird. I know what a for... butt plug is, butthead. I want to know what the so it's like a lawn dart, but it's called a jart. A butt plug. Jart. Mr. Chaos Let's apparently see. needs a butt plug because he keeps repeating the phrase over and over again. Finds an entertaining phase, and obviously that one's entertaining him. He just likes to repeat things. He's kind of odd that way. They have jarts lawn game, just regular jarts. See, when I was a kid, we didn't play the lawn darts. We played croquet. Okay. Croquet. <laughs> and croquet. Admin. Admin. Okay. Croquet. No, I started to say croquet. croquet. And I started to say croquet. There's only two of left a of Cold jarts. Brothers movie, right? I started croquet. To, I started to say croquet, and then I started thinking about Alice in Wonderland, and then I was like, oh, crap, am I saying it wrong? I think I don't know how to say croquet. And then it came out, and I was like, oh, no, no, that was right. That all went on in my I'm head sure in like it was two a character, seconds. I'm sure it was a character in a Coen Brothers movie. Croquet! If it was, it would obviously be one of the characters portrayed by John Goodman. Yeah. Oh, right. yep. Where art thou? Who? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I love that movie. What are your favorite movies? My favorite movies? Oh, my God. Yeah. I don't know. I just saw, go. I just saw three tonight, so I've got, like, the, saw three in my head. Have you it's seen not, the no, you, see new Coen Brothers movie? What movie is that? Uh, no Country for Old Men. <gasps> oh, no, I have it. I have it. Uh, that is all my best. best picture of the year, right? I don't go to the movies. I ha- everything's got to be on DVD for you to see it. Yeah, you, you, you're, you're our kind of people. Have you seen Stardust? No, and thank you for reminding me. I've been meaning to put that on my list for... Actually, I can't say no. I saw it years and years and years ago. No, no, no. There's, the first... there's more than one. There's a- Stardust came out in, in the theaters last year. Then no, I have not seen that one. This is the um, Neil Gaiman. Is this? 
Stardust. No, I haven't seen Sorry, that yet. Yeah, it's got Michelle yes. Pfeiffer in it's it. And uh, Robert De Niro. One of Robert De Niro's best parts. You know, it really... This is where we go into the cami theory of filmmaking. I love Terry Gilliam. I love Neil so Gaiman. I. I think Terry Gilliam and Neil Gaiman needs to... They need to make movies together. Because... Did you ever... You hear the theory of, of uh, Terry Gilliam's uh, the four movies that are tied together? No. The Bridge yeah. of Brazil, The Adventures of Baron von oh, Munchausen. Baron von oh, yeah. Munchausen. What's the one with the midgets? Uh, time time, time bandits. bandits. We have that. It's, and then the one where... Um, what's the other one? There's one more movie. Yeah. Uh, in that series. Uh, the Fisher King. Oh, great movie. Right? The Fisher King. Yeah. Right. Actually, I think you're right. I think that was the fourth movie of the series. Yep. Um, supposedly, those four movies actually... Are part of a or like there's a large there's a one story that that they're each one of them is like part kind of like Star I can see Wars. That. But I, I can see we that. believe that we're nodding our heads. Um, let's see. The only one we don't own is probably my favorite of that. The Fisher King. No, we own the Fisher King. No, don't we? we don't. We oh, do okay. Not. We don't own two of the four because we own. No. Uh, we own. No, we don't own. Uh, we have we have time, time bandits. bandits. We do not have Brazil. <gasps> What's been, wrong with it? We don't have Brazil. Well, because it was the Criterion Collection oh. and all that crap, and we were trying to that get that. That is one of my favorite movies them. of all time. I mean, seriously, which one? Brazil. Uh, the, Brazil. I, oh, yeah. I can't get enough of right. watching fantastic. that movie. That's, that really also said. starred Robert De Niro. Was you know it. what? One of my exactly. I was going to say Mad Sewer Problems. That's what I was going to say. The the, uh, the part that he played that Robert De Niro played in Stardust. Yes. In a very yes, strange way, reminded me of the part he played in Brazil. But my favorite of those four movies, by far, is The Adventures of Baron von Munchausen. I haven't seen it in years. Yes, and I haven't either. Stardust yeah. reminds me so much of uh, of that movie, which was also oh, really? had Robin Williams in it. Y- y- you know what I want to say? But I not wanna... in a copying it kind of way, just in a the feel of it, the spirit of it, that and uh, The Princess Bride. I, I want to interject here because she brings up a good point because The Bubble Wench is a film ophile. So... I think it's Remember, really it's interesting late. that I think that Mr. Chaos's favorite filmmaker is probably Stanley Kubrick or the Coen brothers. And mine is hands down Terry Gilliam. But uh, he, he also really likes Terry Gilliam's work. Yes, I do. Um, and we don't have we, have, <laughs> we only have two movies. We have um, Time Bandits and the other one we have is the... Um, one of his more recent films, uh, The Brothers Grimm, which I don't think Mr. Cast Brothers. liked. But that it was okay. I enjoyed it. It was exactly. scary. Exactly, it was okay. You I know what? It was scary, and it, 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 it wasn't scary. It was scary for me. I, I'm not. I'm. I'm scared of scary movies. The four movies you mentioned. Yeah, see, and I watched Saw three, and I laughed through the movie. So oh, you know, see, I don't watch those kind that, of movies. But he I'm has twisted. A, he has a new movie coming out, and I can't remember the name of it. Does anyone... Do you know the name of it, remember. sweetie? The The reason that it's got all the press is because Heath Ledger was starring in it. Oh. New oh, movie. that's right. That's right. That's right. Well, he was filming it when he passed, and I guess they're replacing him with Johnny Depp and two other actors. Oh, this is uh, Gillum? Yeah. Terry it's Gillum? It's the Gillum movie wow. because he... And, and I guess the premise was that the... the <laughs> character that ledger was playing was a magician of some kind so they were Crazy. able they were able to use a few other actors and just have some sort of maybe shape changing no wasn't it the, it was the, the batman movie he's filming no, no he wasn't the batman that one was, was done finished. that was in post production in the can and they're going with it they're they're leaving it as is. He had completely. I saw a preview. Back. I saw a little thing on the yeah, imagine the, the Imaginarium of Doctor Parnassus. That's it. That's it. That's it. And I wow. I was really when I read that he was making it, got really excited, and then I got really afraid that they were going to scrap the project, because the last movie he made I think got scrapped as well, for some other reason. I don't know. He I have an, a question. Yes. What's your question? So, a, a statement and a question. Yes. <laughs> Ms. Chaos, I have a statement and a question. Yes. First, the statement is if we can get the bubble wench to get headphones next time. She has headphones. Um, She's wearing them now. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, but it better, like, real headphones. We'll, we'll have to do a film. I, we'll have to do a film comment. Oh, we could do an podcast. entire podcast about film. That would be good with I the can. three of us. Because the bubble wench is... You better have like six hours worth of recording material yeah, exactly. available for yeah. that. Well, but I appreciate that. I know you you and I have had some 
long conversations. But secondly, so I have a question. I actually have a question that I've never asked you before. So where are you at in Foreman? Foreman. Where are you at with Foreman? (laughs) Foreman grills in the drawer right now. Yeah, right. Are you using the Foreman grill much? (laughs) I use it quite a bit. Actually. Yeah. Love that, love that yeah. Ali Foreman thing back in the do you, early Do you 70s. cook meat on it or vegetables? <laughs> or grilled I do cheese? both. All right. I like egg, grilled eggs. Uh, there. It's really good. Ooh, grilled, I love grilled eggs. I was going to ask her where yeah, she's at with yeah. form, foreign <laughs> films oh. I've been drinking. Thank you very much. Um, um, I, I, Mr. I, I have, to, I have to admit, I kind of dropped watching foreign films a few years ago. Um, I, I've seen a few Spanish films since. I still enjoy them. I just I just find them harder to enjoy when I'm drinking. Because you have to read the you have the words. Exactly. That's, that's exactly. So that's Ms. Cami Chaos's problem. Too. It has nothing to do with drinking. Drinking <laughs> has nothing to do with drinking. Though when I get tired, I have a hard time concentrating, and I have a, a bit of a, so, so a learning raise, disability, and it's difficult for me to read when I'm tired. So I'm going to raise my hand and say I have the opposite reaction. The more I drink, the more I don't need to read the subtitles, and I just get what they're saying to me in their form. Even language. though you don't speak the language that exactly. the movie is made in. I, I, I would probably be get get something from what they're saying, but it would be nothing about what the movie was. I do really. Do. Is I, that the I charm? like to make up my own words for the movies. Maybe. So do I. That yeah. is always fun. Oh, Mr. I like to turn the volume down oh, when I'm stuck watching regular TV and make up my own words for the commercials. Especially, I like except to make for the that's stain commercial. That's the best one out there. Oh, I like to make up words that, for like that and, and the Skittles commercials. Oh my god, I love the Skittles commercials. See, I don't watch commercials. Skittles. Skittles has this commercial where this guy is like. Looks like a pinata, and he comes in and he puts the bag of sk- he's, he's got he's in a he's got a got a um uh, uh, crutch and his arms in a cast and a big bandage on his head. He comes in and he goes, "Were you looking for these when you hit me with the baseball bat?" Oh, I just started laughing right there. So I was telling Scott about this. Then I was going to be on this, and I said, "Yeah, you know, you can sit here if you want." It's like you know, I wanted him to be here to get me drinks, which hasn't worked out to exactly. my advantage, but still, really, uh, slap that. Oh shit. yeah, he left when he got the headphones. Slap yeah, that he left because he couldn't hear us he anymore. Was- but anyway, that's beside the point. Um, he he said, well, what, what are you guys going to talk about? Like, what's the topic? And I said, I don't know, but penises and vaginas come up a lot. And he just, like, d- did dead stop, but he was doing, did a double tape cake and said, what? Oh, <laughs> really? Do, do I, I appear I, I at all, like, point. maybe I appear all mild-mannered in person? I don't, do I? I don't know. Well, you know what? It seems that my maternal duties are calling, so I think that we're going to have to call. Sounds we're- like. I think we have to call it a night, and and uh, it was great to have you on the show, sweetie. Oh, well, thank you very much for having me on the show. It was very much fun. Hey, and everybody! Thanks night. for listening to Strange Love with Cammy Chaos and Bubble Winch and Mister Chaos and even Little K. Have a great night.